Good morning. Happy Friday. It's about eight o'clock. I'm tired. Oh my gosh. I'm dressed and ready for my workout. She comes at 8.15 on Fridays. But this morning, I woke up with like vertigo or something. I swear I was like swaying I was as, as I was trying to get ready. <sighs> so hopefully that goes away. I, I do feel a little bit better right now, but to work out? I don't know. Maybe we can modify some things. So maybe I'm not like up and down, up and down. Maybe we do like all the standing stuff and then all the sitting stuff. You know what I mean? Um, so happy Friday. I am going to work out. I need to film a couple things or I want to really like a couple of reels that I've been saving. So I'm going to get ready, film those. I need to go get my mom's birthday present and then maybe we'll go pick out her cake. I need to see, I need to talk to my sister and see one of us is going to do the cake and one of us is going to do, she's going to do once pizza. So, um, we need to figure out which one's going to do which. And then I know I said it in last week's vlog, but I don't think, obviously I didn't say it here cause I just started this vlog. Um, we're all going to her house on Sunday for my mom's birthday. We're going to my mom's house on Sunday for my mom's birthday. Uh, she bought a bunch of flowers that she wants help planting. So that's what we're going to do and have pizza, cake, open presents, all that fun stuff. So that's the plan. Hopefully my workout goes smooth. Okay, bye. I am going to pull out some ribs for a crock pot recipe tonight. I forgot to pull them out last night. So I hope that this is okay. I need to check the recipe. <laughs> Oh my gosh, y'all. I just filmed a couple of reels. I'm so sweaty. I did like a dancing one. So that's all I've been doing. Those take so long, so much longer than you would think because it's what, 15, 30 seconds tops? Whew. I'm sweaty. Got me a workout in twice today. So I'm still doing laundry. That's all I've done is I worked out. I worked out, started laundry, took a shower, ate breakfast, Got ready, and now I'm filming reels. It's like thundering outside. I didn't know it was going to be bad weather today, so I may not go to Lowe's. I mean, I can always go tomorrow and get the... Did I tell you that my mom wants one of those retractable water hoses, but she needs one that's 100 feet long, and so those are kind of hard to find. So that's what I'm on the hunt for. But like I said, I can always go tomorrow. So I think I'm just going to edit some of these reels that I shot. I did pull out some ribs for dinner. I showed you that. Um, it just depends on if they thaw in time. So I'm going to go sit down out of all these lights and cool down. Okay, it really hasn't been that long <laughs> since you last saw me. I sat at the computer, imported some video, put my hair up, obviously. So my, I was just talking to my mom and telling her, oh, I need to see if the uh, ribs thawed out, blah, blah, blah. And she said, girl, put the ribs in the crock pot. They'll be fine. So that's what we're going to do. So today's recipe is super easy. I have baby back ribs. I have barbecue sauce, and then the recipe calls for Dr. Pepper. I'm not a Dr. Pepper fan drink-wise, but when I mentioned it to my mom, oh, my dryer's done, she was like, oh, yeah, you, that'll be delicious. So we will assemble it. It is now 12.30. It says cook on high for six to eight hours. So hopefully, I've had good luck in the past, so let's just, it's going to be fine. So I've run into a bit of a dilemma. Um, I can't, I can't cut them because they're frozen, but it's too big to fit in the crock pot. I found a soft spot. Okay, so I'm going to put, sh is that okay? Do I just, like that? Or do I do it like that? Hmm. Let's see what the rest of the ingredients look like in there. I just bought this Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. We like this one. I actually bought two of them, but the recipe says 12 ounces. So I'm just gonna put one in because I like barbecue sauce, but I don't like thick barbecue sauce. So I think 
think this will be plenty. Now for the Dr. Pepper. I shouldn't have put that in the fridge. This is like ice cold. We're not gonna do all of that either. Just, we're gonna leave that much. All right, here we go, lid. I'm gonna put it on high. And let's hope I did the right thing. It's what, 1234 now? So, those should be done. 6.30, 7.30, perfect timing. I bought some coleslaw. We have macaroni and cheese, we have potatoes. But I felt like the coleslaw and maybe like mac and cheese would be good with the ribs. Maybe we have some cornbread or something like that. So uh, that's the plan. I don't think I'm gonna go anywhere. Did I say that already? It's just kind of gross outside. So I'm gonna stay home and work. So I'll probably see you at dinner. Is it supposed to be sizzling? It's only 3.50. Maybe I need to rotate the ribs do you hear it I just wanted to document the sound because it sounds extra loud it's a little bit later it is almost seven this is my favorite part of this movie y'all name that movie by the way in the comment section down below my walls look yellow they're not yellow I promise <laughs> Uh, this was such a good movie. It is still such a good movie. When I was younger, I loved it. I bought the VHS, like, box set that came with, like, the matching or, like, the locket that she wore from the movie. This part is my favorite part. <laughs> but really, I'm here to show you the progress of these. Oh, let that, that smoke go away. There we go. These are falling off the bone smell amazing super easy i'm glad i put them in so i think i'm gonna make me some mac and cheese so i'll show you once i've plated everything not that it's a fancy plate but you know like i normally do Take that off. oh <laughs> let's see what it looks like out here this morning y'all we had severe like severe thunderstorms last night cash was in the bed with us i didn't layla wasn't uh, but i remember cash tossing and turning all night long. I found some pictures from the National Weather Service that they shared to their Facebook page, so I'll put them here so that you can see. The hail over at the beach was insane. Oh, there's a little froggy in the pool. See him swimming? He'll find the frog log. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of tiny ones. Yeah, they'll find that frog log. Oh, that poor guy swimming right. Oh, oh that's like a cricket. Anyway, um, so yeah, it was pretty bad last night, but luckily we were okay it wasn't i don't even think we got uh tornadoes or i think it was just severe weather i know there was a tornado watch but i don't think oh i don't think a tornado warning or an actual tornado ever happened so today is saturday the first swimsuit saturday of the summer season so i need to go in there and make that video live i filmed a fun reel with the swimsuits so more of like experience not explaining, but like showing the swimsuits with descriptions, sizes. Like that sort of thing. So hopefully it's helpful to people who are interested in purchasing. Hopefully it is. Uh, so I'm going to go in there and do all that work. And then we'll go to Target, pick up my mom's water hose, figure out which connector we need, get a bag, all that kind of stuff. Um, I think I'm going to do crock pot jambalaya tonight welcome back to my house so i ended up going to target like doing my bit of running around but my sister and i went to lunch so i didn't take you with me to target so i got her a connector because she was talking to brian on the phone asking him about water hoses and then she asked for a water hose so brian said this is the one that she wanted those like lightweight retractable or expandable i guess water hoses, the long one, because her backyard is huge. So I got her this, and then this to connect this water hose to her old water hose. <laughs> they really didn't have a lot of like birthday, like gift bag choices, like the size that I needed, but I ended up getting her this one. How cute. And then this really cute recycled, recyclable. Yes, recyclable. It's not recycled, but you can recycle it, I guess um tissue paper so that's her gift i need to wrap that i did order a cake i'll show you that tomorrow so my trainer carly i'm sure i've said this so many times 
her and her boyfriend just bought a house and they get to move in on Friday of this week. So I got her a little something too, just because they've been waiting on this for so long and they're so excited. So I picked her up this candle. It's the Hearth and Hand, Hearth and Hand uh, Sugared Birch. This smells like Christmas. Oh my gosh, like pine smells so good. So I thought this would be pretty. And then I picked her up this really cozy, like tassel -y blanket with like the big tassels on the end. This is the brand, oh, the same, Hearth and Hand with Magnolia, super soft. I know she's more into like the grays and whites versus the creamy and tans and stuff. So I thought this one would be perfect. And then I got her this bag with this tissue paper. So I'm gonna wrap those two things. Uh, the sausage I pulled out for dinner tonight, turns out I used the peppers and stuff the other night. So I can't do crock pot jambalaya like I wanted to. I actually did buy, they had a room spray that was very, well, it wasn't similar to that candle at all, but a room spray that smelled so good. And I had it in my buggy. And I guess I forgot to take it out when I checked out because I didn't buy it. Like it's not on my receipt and it's not in these bags. And I'm kind of upset about that. So it's not worth going back up there to re like to purchase it, but maybe one day when I'm up there, I'll grab it because it really did smell good. morning happy sunday happy birthday day for my mom my neighbors are outside oh gosh <laughs> um so today is the day that we are going to celebrate my mom's birthday her actual birthday is april 19th but today is the day that everyone could get together also she bought we've talked about this a bunch of flowers and they need to be planted so at one o'clock we're all going to go to her house plant flowers my sister's getting pizza i am picking up a cake and we're just going to hang out and that's what we're going to do today um, so I'll show you the cake when I get it. I was going to wear bike shorts and like a tank top, like a long, like a, you know, like a beach cover up type tank top because <laughs> it's supposed to be super sunny, zero clouds, like 80 degrees by the time we get there. But then I remembered I have, um, those Walmart rompers. I bought the black one we know from the video and then I ended up ordering the like, uh, olive green one. So I'm gonna wear one of those, I think, instead of the typical Terran uniform with the bike shorts. So this is the cake that I ordered online. Just a fun happy birthday. They got my name like totally wrong. <laughs> so it's a little bit confusing. They listed me as Karen Wright. That's not me, but anyway, this is the cake. So Brian's placing them all where, these are the flowers, by the way. The, we had bad storms. So we'll, we'll still plant them, they'll be fine, he says. So he's just placing them all along the fence. And then we're going to do an assembly line, dig, place, refill. That's the plan. So I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. All right, we're all done. Shout out to Brian for digging all the holes and placing all the plants. And then me, my sister, and my niece filled the whole holes with water. That's a lot of work. Oh, Brian's helping me with the water hose. So there we go, all the way down. I'm just going to water them now. Good morning, happy Tuesday. Uh, so good morning. It's about 940. I did my workout, took a shower, did my skincare, and here we are. So I don't even think I told y'all the vlog. A while back, Nordstrom Rack was having a sale on their Barefoot Dreams blankets. We know, I didn't know at the time, but everyone talks about these Barefoot Dreams blankets and how they're amazing, they're worth the money, but regular price was like $180. That is not in my realm 
realm realm of a budget. It's not happening. No way would I spend that much money on a blanket. But they were on sale for $59. I think I grabbed the last one. It's amazing, super soft. It's just on a whole nother level of soft, and I'm so glad I got it. It's still expensive, 60 bucks for a blanket. I think shipped to my house with tax and everything was like $70. That's insane to me for a blanket. But here she is. She's super soft, just big enough. Like I wrap it around me, walk around the house. I love everything about it. Now, I have heard from people, be careful when you wash it because it doesn't feel the same afterwards. Also, we bought that because it looks like my dog. So then I started seeing everybody and their mama talking about the Sam's Club dupe for the blanket. So I don't even remember the brand. It was $29. I bought one and it's supposed to come today. So I figured we'll do a little test when it arrives if the Barefoot Dreams is comparable to the Sam's Club one. Is it worth your money? Should you spend the extra money kind of thing? Okay, I know the lighting is not that great in here in the living room, but we're gonna do the blanket test. So the Sam's Club one has arrived. I All I did was take it out of the package. I'm not even touching it because I don't wanna know what it feels like until we open it together. So here's what it looks like. The brand is Crafted by Catherine, cozy knit throw 60 by 70 inches. They had a couple of different pattern options, so we went with this one. That dog's gonna hit that window as soon as I sit down. Hang on. I'm not coming out. No. Okay, I see what's happening. Okay, let's open it. So let me get a good feel of the Barefoot Dreams. All right, now let's open this one. Should have brought a, some scissors in here. Okay, it's not as soft. It's definitely not as soft, but it's a pretty close dupe. I'll say that, like this one is just soft on another level. This one is soft too. Okay, let me pop it open so I can actually get a good idea of size and all that fun stuff. The dog faked me out. She acted like she wanted to go outside. <gasps> oh, it's like reversible. Okay, it does feel pretty similar now that it's not all bunched up. Uh, she faked me out. She's like, please let me outside. So I open the door. And then she turns around and looks at me like, oh, are you not gonna come too? Okay, so here we go. This side is the darker with the light, and then this side is the lighter with the dark. I can tell the difference, but honestly, it's not enough to not buy this one. If you've never tried Barefoot Dreams and you can't get it on sale, get the Sam's Club one, and I feel like you're getting this the same, almost the same. It's like so close. Also, people have said, if I didn't mention this, I feel like I have, but several people have told me that this one, once you wash it, it's not as soft anymore. And that's not the case with this one. So it might be better bang for your buck to just get the cheaper one if it's gonna stay soft. I feel like the Barefoot Dreams one is definitely heavier. Whereas this one's not, like you can see that one like bouncy and pooling. Can you tell? I don't know, this one's not as heavy. Okay, here's my final thoughts. I'm not a blanket expert, so don't use this as something, like don't take it to the grave is what I'm trying to say. I, if I had never purchased the Barefoot Dreams one and got this one, I would be in love. This one, the Barefoot Dreams is just softer. But again, that like even on sale to get it to my house was 70 bucks which I'm embarrassed to say I spent that money. So for $30, it was like $29.80 something, regular price. Yeah, get this one. I say, don't even bother, unless you, you wanna spend that much money, then get this one. But this one is a great dude. Plus, that's a really pretty like color option. I kind of like it like a little bit better. The longer that I'm like sitting here and playing with them, because this one is so heavy, and almost like pools because it's so heavy, whereas this one isn't. I just wanna see like how big this one is. Here we go. 
That's the size of this one. Or is this one 50 by 60? No, this one's smaller. Okay, so the Barefoot Dreams one is smaller. Get it out of your way. Okay, buy the Sam's Club one. Don't bother with the Barefoot Dreams. <laughs> Good morning, happy Wednesday. It's about 9.05, 9.10 in the morning. I need to run to the post office and drop off the uh, Yvette sports bra. I picked a winner, so I'm shipping that today. And also the couple of things from Wendy Drew Boutique that just didn't work for me, I'm going to return them and pick out a couple of other things. I am also going to run to my UPS box, check that. I uh, usually, they're supposed to anyways notify me when I get something but they never do <laughs> so I just like make it a part of my trip sometimes to just swing in there check the box and swing right on out there was something else that I wanted to tell y'all and I don't remember what it was okay so I don't have any foundation that matches me right now I'm on a test journey with my skin with no fake tan and so none of the foundation I have matches. So I ran into Target just to grab a Wet n Wild. Hopefully I can just skin match myself here real quick. So these are the colors I see. Um, I feel like maybe this nude ivory. Oh no, that's, that's a little bit too light. Golden beige I own, so that wouldn't work. Maybe soft beige. That could work. And while I'm here, let's grab another one of these. This is my favorite drugstore mascara. Okay, I'm home now. Say hi. <laughs> so while I was in Target, I looked up a recipe for dinner tonight because I didn't pull anything out. I haven't grocery shopped, like we just haven't gone to the grocery store. So I wanted to see if there was something easy, like the ingredients I could grab quickly and cook for tonight. So we're going with something called Marry Me Chicken. I will put it here on the screen. All I needed to grab was chicken thighs and heavy cream. And I had everything else, but it doesn't come with like a side dish. So I went ahead and grabbed a bag of potatoes. So I'll do some like creamy, like garlicky mashed potatoes with this chicken for dinner tonight. So that's the plan. I also grabbed, I ended up going with the matte version of soft beige. Pray for me that that works. <laughs> um, I got another mascara. That's my drugstore fave. Honestly, my fave. I don't even know why I keep saying drugstore because I don't use anything. Like, there's nothing that I splurge on, like a mascara that's just amazing, that's expensive. This is the one I always buy. And then I grabbed some of these press-on nails. So these are the Impress short version. This really pretty nude. That iridescent or like holographic look at the bottom. I won't use those. But I thought that like pinky nude, it's really not doing it justice, uh, was really pretty. And so here's my thought process. I follow a woman over on Instagram. Her name is Meredith. She does a ton of like solo traveling, like that sort of content. She does outfits and fashion inspiration, uh, hair tutorials or like showing how she gets her hair straight. Like I've watched all sorts of stuff from her. But I watched one of her stories about how she can afford to travel so often, like she went to Hawaii most recently. And she said in 2020, she saved $2,000 from not getting her nails done. $2,000, that's a lot of money. I know it sounds like a lot of money, but when you think about, if you go every few weeks and get a manicure, pedicure, fake nails, like all that kind of stuff, it adds up. So I thought, you know what, maybe, I can give this whole at home nail thing a go. I'm not very good at painting my nails. Like one hand is great, but the other one's not so much. My like toes, I can paint fine because I can use my right hand, my dominant hand on them. Um, so I think I'm gonna try these for a while and see because y'all know like I do modeling and stuff like that. Like it just, it does get expensive to get your nails done and spray tans, like all this stuff like every single week or every other week. So we're gonna try that. Um, it's not even 10 a.m. It might be just at 10 a.m., but I need to edit y'all and you know how long that takes. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here for this week. I feel like you didn't really get to see a lot except for me like cooking and 
cleaning. <laughs> But sometimes that's just like how it works out for the week. So I'm going to let you go here. I'm going to edit. I'm going to, I'm going to edit so that you can watch this tomorrow. And then tomorrow I'll start another vlog. I'll do these on camera. When I do these nails, we will do them together. I don't have any shoots right now. Like I was supposed to go to Bella Rose today. It's supposed to rain. We shoot outside. So that was canceled. So like, there's no point in me doing them now to sort of like waste them. So once I have something... I will put those on with you so that we can watch and see if it's worth it. These were $6.99, by the way. So if I can get away with seven bucks every week and a half, two weeks versus $100, we will be doing that. Next week, we're starting the Outdoor Oasis. I know it's been like on hold. We've had bad weather. Um, so I don't know how much of a vlog you'll get because you know I'm doing a separate video for that. Uh, but we'll we'll figure it out. We will have something for you to watch next Thursday as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. I don't know why I'm doing this. You can see my arm in the reflection in the in the refrigerator. Okay, I'll see y'all later. Bye.